Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature an old favorite. This is from Toman. This is the Harley Benton CST24 HB Hollow Body Trio Life TRL in Tobacco Flame.
want to thank Holly Benton for sending this guitar for review. I've noticed it a long time ago. I just didn't get around to it. And um, this guitar was released in 2014. 2014. That's like, what, seven years ago? Yeah, but still looks good. It still has that appeal. Now, it's a mixture of the JEM, right, and the, you know, you know who, are semi-solid or hollow body. So you have the trio life uh, inlays, fret inlays, which is really nice. You know, when I first saw it, I was thinking like, mm, would it be hard for me to kind of navigate between the frets? But once I start playing, it was easy because you have all these major trees or leaves on on the fifth and seven and whatnot, and what you'll find, you know, over the dots where the dots are on a normal guitar uh, neck. So the guitar features a flame maple top, mahogany body, and neck, all right. You have a Paul Ferro fretboard, really nice. Uh, these are jumbo frets, but these are non-stainless steel. Features a fret radius of about 14 inch. The next shape is a modern C, right? And you have like inlays, cream color inlays on the body itself. Mm -hmm. And of course a Tree of Life inlays, all right? Uh, you have an ABS net of a of a of a f uh, width of forty two mm, right? Uh, standard Harley Benton tuners. These are non locking. Mind you, this was released in two zero one four, right? This guitar also features the wraparound bridge. Um, I have yet to find out how to intonate this properly because, as it is right now, it's it's okay. There's no problem with intonation. I just had to like lower down the bridge a little bit because the actually was a tad too high. It features a three way pickup selector. One volume, one tone, with a split uh, call, a push-pull, right? And features a pair of uh, LAF and Eco 5 pickups from Roswell. These are my favorite ones. <laughs> That's why I chose this guitar. I know it's going to sound good, you know, uh, and it did. You know, it, it did not disappoint me. And a bit of a calf top, right? Flame Maple, there's a bit of a calf top here. Set in neck, right? Um, That's about it. Really simple guitar, light, it's not that heavy. Um, I can see the electronics from here through the F-holes, but nothing to worry about. I think it's cool. I like the finish. This reminds me of, yeah, the uh, Ember Burst, you know, of, of, you know, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> cool. So, uh, what do I feel about this guitar? I, I, I just feel that uh, playing it, no problem. Um, the, the frets and everything. Probably the frets need a little bit of polishing because you can get, you can feel a little bit of a grit. But the fret ends are really nicely tapered off. Uh, there's no uh, sharp edges whatsoever. Easy to play. This guitar is really easy to play. It reminds me of the OCS T24 that I used to have, uh, yeah, which I sold, which is a great guitar. And then you, uh, the, the body contour and everything it fits, you know, just nice, comfortable. How does it sound? Now, like I said, the LAF pickups did not disappoint, and it just sound good. It just sound good. And it, uh, the hollow body character of this uh, characteristic of this uh, guitar lends a little bit of a change in in in, in, in the tone. It just sounds a little bit different uh, from say the Sparky guitars or, or the Fusion Pro uh, HH it just sound a bit different because of the hollow body nature of this guitar nice, a bit of a chime thing going on but when it comes to overdrive yeah, it just nails it, you know, warm and creamy and, and the guitar sustains really well uh, probably because of the setting neck but it sustains really well all in all, I think this is a very attractive guitar and a very affordable guitar for some of you who are looking for this instead of the other alternative which costs an arm and a leg. Um, but I think you must understand that you get what you pay for, okay, because of the price differences, you know, you have an ABS nut instead of a bone nut or, you know, whatever, tusk nut and uh, the power ferro fretboard, you know, which is okay. I think it's okay. I think, you know, for the money, uh, you're getting quite good quality from uh, this uh, guitar. Yeah. Cool. Let me know what you think about this guitar. Uh, um, and put your comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to put a price down here. Guitar is available in Toman. Okay, so if you're in Singapore or Malaysia, don't ask me where to get this guitar in Singapore because it's not available in Singapore. You have to order it directly from Toman's website. I'm going to put the link in the description. So go check them out because I have lots of guitars there. Right? And um, again, let me know what you think about this guitar and leave your comment, comment section down below. I'm sure some of you might have bought this before, right? And how has it uh, been treating you so far? <laughs> right? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, 
join this channel, be part of this channel, and subscribe to this channel, and press that bell for notification of future videos. Be part of the patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it so much. And I want to thank all my patrons for their love and support. So, take care, be safe, again, keep warm. I know it's winter. Oh, I miss snow. There's no snow in Singapore. <laughs> right? So, I envy you guys, you know. Anyway, take care of yourself. I'll see you again. Ciao.